Welcome back, folks, for the Qualifier 3 guide. As you guys know, I made it on the first one. I like to live stream them so you can be there to ask questions and see how exactly I do it. But because I made it, I won't be able to do Qualifier 3. But I can, in fact, help you out. Now, while the weathers might have some changes to it, it is still very similar as last year. And these spots are going to be very similar. So, uh, big thing here, uh, before we even get started... Louisiana does not have respawn timers on their catfish. That or they're so high that it doesn't matter. One of the two. Because you can catch, uh, last year I caught in practice, I got five in a row from the same spot. And a few times I caught three or four in a row. Uh, with that being said, here is the setup. Now in the middle of this, it's probably going to go slow for a lot of people. Do not hesitate to go down to like a 4-0 in the middle when it's really slow. But frogs, and similar to last year, frogs, dead lumbari, and the two livers seem to be what is best for these things during the night here. Um, also, one thing I should mention, because I see a lot of people not doing this, you can have five poles. Uh, you don't have to just use four. You can put four on a rod stand and one in your hand. So for spot one, and because there is no unique timers, what you do is you fish a spot till it slows down. So you see here, uh, this is, do not, I would not use large minnows. That's just the mark uh, I caught during the day um, for this spot. But anyway, these are the marks if you wanted to do it. This is spot one. Uh, this is spot two, Oop, right here. And like I said, frogs, the two livers, and dead lumbari. So chicken liver and large liver seem to be okay here. Um, and then, so there's spot one. And then spot two is right here. You can actually go uh, to that spawn point and fish it. But it, it is a little shorter on this side. That's spot two. And what you do is you just change whenever it's getting slow. When you're getting slow on a spot, just go ahead and move. And we're going to come down here. Also, you see the water screen. The event is going on, as I mentioned earlier today. I would practice in your set up a custom comp for the weather pattern. As you can see, we got friends doing it right now. Um, but you, what you want to want to do is practice that way. Don't practice during the event out on the lake on a regular day. Normally, it isn't an issue, but during the event, the spawns are really wonky because of event fish. So just keep that in mind. And then this spot is spot three here, um, which isn't always the best spot in the world, but at night it does a lot better than what it normally should. <laughs> um, normally you would catch a lot of little channel cats here, um, but you can catch these big flatheads here as well, and it's a good third spot to have when the other two are slowing down. Um, but outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. Similar to last year, like this whole tournament has been, it's been almost identical to last year. Um, our weather patterns haven't been majorly different on PlayStation. Um, and it the scores have been almost the same so far as they have last year. In fact, they actually uh, were almost identical on both of them. Um, with that being said, though, just keep in mind, uh, when you do have weather, different weather patterns, they can bite sore or faster. The spots you're going to use are always going to be the same, uh, but a lot of time hook size will play a role. So in the middle of this, when it gets slower, you're probably going to want to drop down to a like 4 all maybe even a 3 all if it gets super slow. Uh, but anyway, guys, hopefully you guys do wonderful. Uh, you're going to want to have... Some people are not going to have... You know, there's always some luck involved with these crazy... This crazy catfish tournament, obviously. Um, but some people, you want to have more than 10. Some people are going to get unlucky you have less than that. You can catch as many as 25 here, though, guys. So if you're on a good run, you get 15 to 25 is a real good run. You should be happy no matter where you finish. And you're just playing the size game. And that's a, that's a hard game to play. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.